Hey everybody! So yeah, I'm gonna be planting uh, stuff in my greenhouse. Look. Okay. All right. It's kind of hot in here. Well, not too much actually. Let me just figure out the camera angle. Yeah, I'm gonna close the greenhouse. <coughs> be for marking my uh, my plants uh, yeah, I can't really see what I'm doing right now so anyway I got myself a big baskets of all sorts of seeds <clears throat> and like I said in an earlier video you can you know try to find what depth you should um, bury certain seeds or everything or uh, yeah but you know I like to uh, by the way I'm weeding out my pots because it's filled with this little plant <laughs> I don't know what that is but anyway so yeah you could fill with uh, you could um, you know try and find what whatever dip you need for every seeds you got but I like to keep gardening simple so depending on the size of the of the seed, well that's how deep I bury it. Bigger the seed, the deeper it goes. <clears throat> okay, those are sunflowers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be planting them. These are runny beans that I had from Vesey's. I have my own actually, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that these are probably the biggest seeds you can get. Beans, I mean. So yeah, I guess they go... Uh, well, I plant them as deep as they are big. Yeah. Boop. Yep, just about first knuckle of my finger. <laughs> like that. And you know, I've had every kind of squash grow like any dip in my uh, compost so I guess you know you can you can bury a small seed too uh, too deep but the bigger seeds well you can't really uh, sow them too uh, in, well, I don't know, too shallow yeah <laughs> these are squashes and okay that's it I'll actually plant four per pot. That, that. Just to make sure one grows actually. And if will the four grow well, it's only gonna make more squashes for me. <laughs> anyway, I got a huge spots for squashes this year. There we go. I got three of them. Let's plant them there. And yes, in a few moments, I won't remember what I planted where. And I'll be at the right, the same place I was last year, when I didn't mark anything. <laughs> ah well. Green onions I'm gonna sow straight into the ground. Ah, these are Tigger uh, melons that I got from Dale, that he actually got from uh, Steen. Uh, 1973. Yeah, look at those cute little seeds. And there you go. And I think those are, these are actually uh, sweet melons. So, there you go. I'm not big on sweet. But these look, just look too cool not to be uh, tried. So, yeah. Again, I'm planting four of them per pot because uh, squashes you can still, you know, when they sprout out, you can um, just rip them out of the ground and plant them elsewhere. Yeah, just that. And again, I plant about the length of their own uh... well you know what I mean 
<clears throat> as large as the seed is, that's deep. How was deep? How deep I planted? Yeah, this is a squash that started sprouting in one of my spot, in one of my pot. So yeah, I just planted it. Actually, I just ripped it out the ground like that. Yep. Oh, look at that. It was like this big. So yeah, it grew all that just like uh, in the night. And uh, will this kill it? Nope. It's gonna be still be there uh, at the end of summer, unless it get it gets cut off by a worm. But that's another story. All right. Uh, what else have I got? Brown cherries from getting there to green. And I'm not seeing Cookie. I hope he's not off running around. Cookie! Okay. He's there. Oh man, the seeds are small. Yeah. Uh, where was I? I was in here. Yeah. Now these I'm just gonna sprinkle over the dirt. Since they are so small. And you don't want to tap your dirt too much, but you at least want the dirt to be touching the seeds, so you know the moisture gets to them, and they actually sprout. I've had some people over here that the ground cherry seeds, take that out of my mouth, that the ground cherry seeds um, actually like survived the winter and they started sprouting again which is pretty great this is uh, Lurie I didn't think I have oh no yeah I bought those <laughs> yeah look at that very small seeds again and I will be Planting them really like in a shallow hole. Like that. You're probably not seeing me. But you know, it's just. <coughs> yeah. Alright, what else? Those are my pumpkins that I am actually calling Acadian pumpkins. <laughs> Since I've been planting these for what? Oh. Four years now that I've been collecting the seeds. These are, the, I guess, the bigger pumpkin seeds. It doesn't really matter how, uh, you know, how you plant them, heads or tail, whatever. They will just sprout and find their way up. And again, just through the camera that, yeah. Oop. There you go. And all these crops, I guess the the main thing is that they need heat. And this is why I'm planting them in the greenhouse. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, there you go. Some zucchinis uh, or summer squash. Again, they, these have uh, seeds like uh, pumpkins and any squash, and we're planting them four per pot. There you go. Oh. And again, just plant them. As deep as the seed is uh, big, yeah, I'll just plant some four more. Those are always good to have. They're super good in a in kind of a saute. Ah, what else? Man, it's hot in here. Oh yeah! I'm trying this this year. This year, peanuts. 
no idea. All right, and they look like average peanuts. Well, it's broken. Let me taste it. Ew. Ew. Oh, yuck. Ugh, those aren't roasted and it really shows. It tastes like a bean. Ugh. Ah, now they're stuck in my teeth so I can't get out. Ew! Those are not good. And again, I'm not planting them too deep. I'm just, yeah. Greenhouse isn't really the best place to sow to where, uh, well, it is the best place to sow, but it's not the best place to make a video. Oh man, those taste awful. Ugh. Yeah, you really need to roast them after you got them out of the ground Ugh, in fall. Alright. I got a lot more seeds. But it's actually pretty hot in here, so I'm just gonna take a little sip. Ugh. <clears throat> oh, still can't taste the, pin the peanuts. Yeah, in those spots, I'm gonna be planting my basil. About that. <laughs> Those are not good. Yeah, in these in these spots, well, I'm just gonna be planting the same thing I planted uh, right here, which is uh, squashes and all that stuff. Oof. Let me just get out. Oh, grab my beverage. Uh, Alright. Hey P. Whew. It is getting uh, a little bit warmer. And the greenhouse is actually hot now. But outside I guess it just yeah, it's just right. So yeah, my garlic. Oh yeah, I planted some potatoes here potatoes there and seaweed and a little bit of, <coughs> of compost that's a new garlic bed for next year some more garlic there some onions right there and here I got more peas two rows of onions yeah. and of course my survivors my, uh, uh, what are those? Swiss chard. Yeah. Some onions. Well, this bed I'm gonna be uh, reworking it. I'm gonna be planting probably my Brussels sprout. And in this one I've got some uh, more peas. Some Johnny Jump Ups. Uh, just try, try some peas. And some onions. Oh, yeah. One thing I'm actually pretty uh, happy about. Okay, you got it lost. Keeps walking in it. Uh, where are they? Oh, look at that. You see those? Those two little things? Asparagus. Yes, some of them did survive. Not a lot. Maybe like. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, this one's big. Yeah. No, that's not an asparagus. No. That's those damn. There you go. Alright. So yeah, not a, lot, a lot of them did survive. But I guess, you know, if they... If a few of them did, I'm gonna be happy. I saw like maybe three plants that did survive. I guess that's better than nothing. And... Okay. I don't know what he's eating, but he's also always eating something there. Lots of carrots today, and he kept eating. This.
them. <laughs> so yeah, the garden is uh, well, it's going on, and uh, just need to uh, do a few more trips of uh, seaweed. Yeah, it's back breaking though. Uh, seaweed collecting, so that's why I'm not uh, doing too much at a time. Besides that, I guess uh, you know the radishes are coming up. Let me just show you if I can. There we go. Mm. My sorrel is really great. Oh yeah, look at that. Oop. Radishes. So yeah, I guess that's it. I'm gonna go and finish planting in the greenhouse. And I guess uh, that'll be it for today. Because this, well, yeah, the cloud is already, uh, the, not the cloud, the skies are already uh, getting filled with clouds. And that's my maple tree, which is in bloom. And yes, maple trees do bloom. And then they make little seeds that fall down like uh, little helicopters. Yep. All right. That's it. See ya. <laughs>